Hey guys, so finally the Oxygen OS 11 stable Android 11 is out for the OnePlus Nord. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install this without almost any data loss. As you can see, currently I'm running the Android 11 beta, but even if you are using the Oxygen OS 10, you can still follow this method. So let's begin. So first up, just search for the OnePlus Switch app. That is a built-in app uh, used for uh, local backup and restore purposes. So once you open this on the bottom, you can see backup and restore. So click on that and you will find uh, options to restore or create a new backup. So here we are going to create a new backup and you can see it can pretty much take the backup of all the things like call logs, SMS. These are very important and also the gallery and all the stuff but I strongly suggest you guys to make a manual backup consisting of those important uh, files that you really care about apart from this backup so make sure you do that and guys you don't need a PC but you need a pen drive or a hard drive to connect because it should wipe the entire device and there is no memory card slot on the OnePlus Nord so now go ahead and take the backup and uh, I have already taken the backup so I'm not going to do it again so you can see here in the restore section the file is uh, created just today itself now what we need to do is just take this file and put this in the external storage like pin drive or hard drive and you can find this in the file manager in the folder op backup as you can see this is what we need to take and uh, you need to move this or copy this to any external device so now go ahead and download the Oxygen OS 11 stable build. I've given the link in the description, you can check it out. So once you download this, this is uh, again stored in the download section. So you need to move this again to the root directory, not into any folders. So this is about 3GB file. So just uh, make sure you move this to the root directory. So now go into the settings and system updates and click on the gear icon and click on the local upgrade and uh, you will find this file that we have downloaded. So you will see the warning message that it does factory reset the device. So like I said, make sure you back up everything before you proceed. So you need to reboot the device and this will boot into the latest Oxygen OS 11 or the Android 11 that it is based on like a brand new device that you need to set up so what I did is I skipped all the steps so you can see here the Android version details and also let me show you the settings and the storage uh, so this is pretty much uh, like a empty device so what we are going to do now is to restore the backup file that we have again so you can see I already copied the backup file the OP backup that we have taken earlier you can see here and now this is what we are going to simply restore it using the oneplus switch app so make sure you give all the permissions and you can see the file that we have here and just uh, click on the restore and uh, just wait for some time and this should do it in about 20-30 uh, minutes depending on your data and once that is done we are going to check whether things are working how well they are working and everything so you can see the restore is complete and we can already see the wallpaper that was already used in the previous settings but there are no google news feed because i did not add the google account and also the widget is missing but apart from that everything seems to be pretty much similar including the apps so let me just open the prime video and see if this is working and you can see the login details are also pretty much there but let me also try another app the disney hotstar app so this one seems to have lost the login details so you need to set this up again and also I tried the flip card and you can see the same case so so there are some apps actually that are working just fine but most of the apps need your login details basically you need to set things up again just login details apart from that everything seems to be just fine the app data on some apps may be missing so just keep that in mind and you can see here the storage details all my photos and all the stuff most of the stuff important stuff like messages calls all the stuff that is already there so that is pretty good and i don't really have to do much to set up my device apart from logging into some apps so if you found this video helpful please like this video guys and that's been it. thanks for watching i'll see you soon